everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I thought I'd do a tutorial for my everyday autumn makeup look. So I'm by no means an expert, I'm not amazing at makeup but I'm a very firm believer on there is no right or wrong way to do makeup. I think if you feel good and you think you look good then it really doesn't matter. Like if using an eyeshadow brush for lipstick works for you then it works for you it doesn't matter what other people do or what other people think as long as you feel good that's all that matters so first thing i'm going to do is just tie back my hair then i put on some aloe vera as the base i used to use like um just a normal like everyday moisturizer for this um and then i bought aloe vera whilst i was on holiday i felt like my burns and stuff and it was just a lifesaver and then when i bought this one when i got back into the uk it says on the tub that it's like good under makeup okay now we put on some green correcting concealer i put this over my spots and any red blemishes so I use the Collection 2001. Is it called Collection 2000 anymore? I think it's just Collection. I use the Collection one. So I've got three different sponges um, and I use the medium one for the green concealer. So I just dab that in. The next thing is my foundation. So I use, I just wanna say sorry for all my makeup by the way. I don't really use, I only wear makeup that much so I don't like chucking things away because I feel like it's a waste so a lot of this I have had for quite a while um, but the foundation that I use is the Rimmel London Match Perfection so I think there's like two other different ones of the Match Perfection this one is the invisible coverage and I use it in light porcelain because I'm very pale so I just put a little bit on my hand then I like to use a brush, I like kind of painting it on instead of like dabbing it with a sponge. Make sure to get the neck. Okay, once the foundation's on I use my concealer. I use the Fit Me Maybelline New York concealer and it is in... I don't know. I'm going to say it's in the lightest colour. So I just put this over where I put the green concealer because that's usually like my spots. And then I put it under my eye because your girl got big bags under her eyes. Then I use the biggest sponge to dab the concealer in. After the concealer, I use powder. So I just use the Natural Collection Matte Powder in Cool. So for the powder, I use this Revolution brush that I've got. Um, it's really soft and it's good for obviously traveling. I'll just get a bit on there. I can never tell if powder's going on. So I tend to just kind of put a lot on, but then I don't know if it's a lot because I can't tell if it's on. The next thing is probably one of the things I hate the most, it's my eyebrows. I was really late to the eyebrow game, like I, in college, high school and college, I used to wear pretty much a full face of makeup, but nothing on my eyebrows, um, so I was really late to doing my eyebrows, so I'm still not like great at them, but I use, god, I've had this for so long, there's no logo on it. I, I have a feeling it's Rimmel London. Um, I probably do need to buy a new one at some point. Um, but yeah, this is what I use. It's in the darkest shade because I'll see my hair is dark. Oh, first, before I do that though, I get this brush just to brush my eyebrows out. Just to make sure all the hairs are fine and everything. I probably could have done with plucking my eyebrows before this video but it's too late now. Okay so I got this brush, it's a Real Techniques brush, um, eyebrow brush. Then I just get a little bit on and then just go for it. 
God, I hate my eyebrows. Okay, that doesn't look terrible. We'll do the other one. Okay. They're not, they've actually not gone awful today, so this is good. So in the set it comes with a little like um, brush, so I always use this just to brush it out at the end once the stuff's on. Okay, so if you thought I hated doing my eyebrows, the next thing is the thing I hate the most, and that is my eyeshadow. So the palette I'm going to be using today is the Beauty Bay Identity. It's got 42 colours, sorry that it's a bit messy, I haven't cleaned it. So these are the colours. I'm going to be using like the browns, the golds, the oranges as it is an autumn makeup tutorial. I get this Real Techniques brush. Um, to do the base, so I just usually use this top colour and just like put it on however I want really. Okay, so then I think we'll go in with a transition colour with this kind of like browny one in the corner. And again, this like doesn't have to be neat because it is just kind of like a transition colour. With eyeshadow, I kind of like have learned over the years that less is more. Like you don't need a lot on your brush. Okay, so when you've done the transition colour, I'm gonna go with I don't really know the terms <laughs> for it. Like I think it's crease, but like then I think I do that later on as well. So I don't know. It's just another colour to go on top of the transition colour. So I think I'm going to do this more orangey brown here. So again, I'm just going to do just a little bit. Because this one is going to be a little bit more neater than the other two. So I kind of dab it on first before I like blend it up to the top. It's got a little bit darker than I thought it was going to. I think I accidentally maybe put a little bit too much on, but oh well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're done with this brush now. Um, I have, where is it? Oh, I have this other Real Techniques brush and I kind of use that for a dark colour just on like the crease line. Um, so I think I'm going to put this browny like burgundy type one. This I do only just get a little bit on this one and then just dab it into the crease before kind of bringing it up. And then I blend out into the other colours. Okay, and then when I've done that, I do my actual eyelids. So I use this brush for that. So I think the colour I'm going to go with is this kind of goldy colour here. So I just get quite a bit on of that. So usually when it's kind of like glittery colours like that, I usually spray my fixing spray on the brush first, but it's kind of been ruining my palette, so I'm trying to do it as much as possible without it. Okay, so when my eyeshadow's done, I get my makeup wipes. And then I get it like that around my finger and then wipe away the bit underneath but because of my nail it makes it like more sharper so I kind of do it in line ish where the, my eyebrow finishes and I just wipe away any excess fine because I'm going to redo my concealer there after 
and then the same on the other eye. So when I've sorted that out, I get my concealer again, and then just put a little bit where I've wiped it off. And that's when I get my little sponge, and then dab it in, careful not to go over any of the eyeshadow. Then the last bit I do on my eyeshadow is I get just a standard brush um, and then I'll probably go with the transition colour that I used. Just get a bit on and then I put it underneath my eye. Okay, so the next thing I do is my highlighter. So I use the Pretty Little Glow by Doll Beauty. And I used this brush, so I think this brush comes from like a different highlighter, but my sister gave it to me, and it's, it's a really good brush. So I just get a little bit on, and then just go on the top of my cheeks. So before I do my mascara, I spray on some fixing spray, just because I find that when I've done my mascara, then spray it, the mascara just goes really like stiff and clumpy. So whilst I'm just like waiting for that to dry so I can do my mascara, I put my lipstick on. So I use this MUA one in Fawn Fancy and this lipstick is my favourite lipstick ever. It's a pound and it's just so good. It's matte but I don't, they don't do it anymore I don't think. Like I know they don't really do MUA in some shops anymore. Um, but like I haven't ever been able to find this lipstick, so when this one runs out, like I'm I'm gonna be devastated. But I just find like you know it's kind of like a brownie purple, like it's a very autumn colour. Okay, so once my lipstick on, my face is kind of a bit more drier now, so I'm gonna do my mascara. I use this Rimmel London waterproof wonderful mascara I don't know mascara is something that I'm not really strict on um, like I don't have a certain one that I use all the time I just pick up whichever one I think looks good and use that one so this is the finished look if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and if you haven't already please subscribe and I'll see you next time thank you very much